Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another episode where I review writing instruments. Today I have for you a German ballpoint pen from one of my favorite German manufacturers, Pelican. Well guys, it has been a long time since I've made a video about this interesting, interesting brand. By the way, it's one of my top five favorite brands out there. And this time I have for you a product that you can buy for, for yourself. You can find it in the stores for uh, approximately five euros or seven American dollars. I must tell you, I bought this second hand used at an interesting, interesting price of 19 lace or 3.86 euros or 4.53 American dollars. And I am talking about the Pelican Jazz Elegance Ballpoint Pen, codename K36. It is a nice writing instrument and um, a metallic writing instrument. I will analyze it for you guys. So, first of all, it comes in this yellow mustard color. It has a personalization, total hype. As I've searched on Google, I found out that this is a pharmaceutical product. And of course, this is a promotion advertising ballpoint pen given as a present to clients of the pharmaceutical company what is interesting about this pen and the main selling point of this product is in its interesting, interesting, let's say, ending. If it were a fountain pen, I would say it's cap. You can see this clip. Well, this is not an uh, ordinary clip. Aside from its well elegance curves, this is a functioning, functioning clip. And I suspect it has a spring here because it simply does a marvelous job when you post it to your shirt pocket. You can see the beautiful, beautiful shiny steel trims. And another interesting element, we have painted on this ending, Pelican and the logo with one cheek, the mother with one cheek. Operating it is simple, you ch just rotate this ending part and the reserve, it shows there. But if you turn it the other side, you will see that it unscrews, the body unscrews. Okay, guys, and it reveals this reserve and you must be careful when you replace it because it has this spring and it is very important so be careful not to lose it on the reserve we have pelican four documents m and the code zero nine one five as you can see, and that's it. This is the mine. Well, you insert it like this. After that, you put it like this, and now you unscrew carefully holding both this part and the yellow part. And as you can see, we have now a functioning, functioning instrument. In case you are wondering, I've made a video about the fountain pen version of this product. Let me compare them. So the ending is the same. 
even the clip is the same it has the same beautiful beautiful spring so practically they look the same of course my version is pearl white on the fountain pen pelican and this time i have a ring here it this has a ring here that matches the body here this ring matches the trim basically the clip of the cap and this is the ending the cap of the fountain pen you can see it pr it is pressure fit i will leave at the end of the video a link where i've done the review of this pelican fountain pen in case you were wondering its name is also pelican jazz elegance but the code name given by the producer is p36 so the ballpoint pen is k36 and the fountain pen is p36 and guys because i like to give you a perspective of the written instruments market let's see also a chinese uh, let's say not a copy but a fountain pen very very similar this has a producer's logo so daco you must know that daco is a romanian stationary products firm but this fountain pen was made in china for them so if we look closely at the three products we can see that this clip is identical with the clip from pelican but there is an, uh, an important difference when we operate this clip we can see the spring and when we do the same thing on this we have a much more resistant clip so this is practically guys the chinese version and it looks uh, similar even at the grip section you can see them not exactly but quite quite a similar similar product and i like to show the similar products guys that the chinese industry produces because there there can be an alternative to the european made or the german products out there but as i've shown you with the springiness of the clip there is a big big difference so i guess if you pay the money you can get premium premium products and by the way i'm not judging the chinese industry because uh, in the last years they deliver quite quite nice products and they show quality with their products but i guess that they uh, have different standards so of course if you are a client from romania and you want a product for uh, branded for your firm you have a budget and uh, this budget reflects also the quality of the finished products by the big big chinese manufacturers so interesting interesting guys as i've promised you this time although it has an old old mine inside i think it works so it's a simple ballpoint pen and maybe you are curious to see a written sample for the written sample guys i will change the angle of the camera 
But till then, I just realized that I didn't left its dimension. So I will leave the dimension of this ballpoint pen on the screen. And after that, we will do the famous phrase with the fox. So this is the Pelican Jazz Elegance K36. And it operates like this. We rotate it. And now let me give you a little nice zoom. Not not such a big zoom. Okay. So guys, this is a pelican. Pelican. Jazz. Elegance. Ballpoint. Ballpoint. Pan. The nickname is K36 or the factory code, sorry guys. A product I believe made in Germany, although it could be outsourced and produced in China using some strict, strict specification because this is a quality, quality product. Although it's an affordable product, it costs approximately new 5 euros or 7 American dollars. Uh, it is quite, quite a nice writing instrument. Now I will do the famous, famous phrase with the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog okay guys as you can probably see for yourself it is a nice nice ballpoint pen it has of course its limitation in comparison with the fountain pen brothers over there but quite quite an affordable affordable product and i say the price is five euros approximately of a new product or approximately seven us dollars so quite quite an affordable writing instrument an elegant writing instrument in my opinion and a practical one of course also the fountain pen i believe it is priced similar so not much difference between them if you ask my opinion i will always prefer the fountain pen but also you can use the ballpoint pen and uh, of course they are both uh, utility instruments so i guess they both do a nice nice job thank you guys for your time thank you for watching this little review of a nice nice german product i want to thank you for your time if you liked this review or if you have suggestion please uh, um, give a comment and if you will a like to this video of course support my activity by subscribing to my channel I want to wish you to have a wonderful day wherever you are. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, please take care of yourselves and bye-bye.